how's it going? Welcome today to Adventures with Kays. And uh, I tell you what, we've got a really cool day lined up for us today. The weather's not the greatest. It's um, a little bit of shower taking place outside at the moment. It was pouring down this morning, but hey, the fish are wet. <laughs> so uh, only thing really stopping us is ourselves. So we're going to get out there, get in amongst it. Uh, today, I, only thing I've got in the back of this truck is a surf caster. And in the back of the truck that Nate's coming with me in, um, we've got a Contiki, so um, we're out with the Predator Contiki today, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can tuck into some fish, but um, uh, we're heading to the west coast, you know how we do it, heading out to the west coast, and um, we're going to see what we can get into uh, fishing very close to home, and uh, our I mean, target species today is going to be things like snapper, um, kawai, gurnard hopefully, um, with that cold snap. I'm hoping some gurnard come on the bite. Yeah, and we're going to enjoy a nice afternoon on the beach. Sand flies. I don't know if you can see them or not, but there are sand flies everywhere. Whew, it's going to be an interesting one. Here we go. Help with the predator today. We're out here at one of our beautiful west coast beaches and um, I've just sent the surf caster out there hoping, hoping to get a fresh kawai to be honest because uh, then we'll stick him on the next set on the Kontiki. Um, 
so yeah the the conditions are pretty pretty crazy today it's been raining and then uh, when the rain stops the sand flies come out <laughs> so less than ideal but um hey when you're out on the beach doing what we're doing it is still a very very um good day indeed so yeah just um gonna let this first set on the kontiki soak for about half an hour and then uh we'll bring it back in and i'll give you a good look into how we um get everything set up to, to be sent out there so yeah nice to be out here nice to be out here and hopefully we um can show you some fish coming up on deck soon so or on the surf cluster beautiful day check this out Yay! First set coming back in. So here we go. First set done. Um, I had to run down the beach to pull in our contiki, so I didn't get to capture it. But um, we've got a small snapper. Very nice car, eh? which is going to be um, fresh bait for this next set. Um, the tide's going out, and there's. Um, bit of a north current uh, that we're faced with today so what we're going to do on this next set is send it to the left a bit, bit more and um, see if we can get a little bit longer on the soak time out wide so yeah so far so good fresh bait coming right up so here we go here's our update um, she's raining again now but um, got the outgoing tide she's probably about halfway going out now and even in the rain these sand flies don't quit but um yeah, we're just cutting up our fresh kahawai now and um, we'll send it out on the kontiki. On the surf caster, I'm just using whatever bait we've got sitting in the bin, hoping to get another kahawai to be fair. Um, it's been really cool meeting everybody uh, that's driven past and uh, come over to say hi and uh, hey, really appreciate you guys. All those who watch the videos, all those who um, frequent our channels and all of that sort of stuff, we really appreciate you guys. So. Uh, yeah, it was awesome to meet everyone out on the beach today. And um, yeah, second set coming up real soon. And hopefully we get into some other, other fish. Um, but we'll keep you posted. Yeah, bro. So explain to us how uh, how you set up these um, kontikis, bro, for fishing. Yeah, so basically the uh, hill of the kontiki is a uh, point and go. It works on a uh, electronic compass. Yep. So basically you put it in the direction you want it to go. Uh, set the compass and lock in the bearing and then start the motor. Me. And basically, basically runtime means distance, yeah? Yeah, yeah distance, yeah. So 10 minutes, it should travel about 900 metres, give or take. Right. Um, 10 minutes, 900. Nice, nice. All right, and we're looking at doing a... Uh, I'm going to try a 10 minute run. Right, 10 minute, eh? Uh, okay. Fresh car way on and uh, see how it goes. So. Sweet, nice. All right, let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. Oh yeah, so that's locked your course. Nice. Whew, okay. Okay, this is a 900 set. Let's get it. Start the motor and off she goes. 900 meters out. Starting it up. And away she goes, eh? So 
just like that. Now what you'll notice here is um, every time it goes through some of the, the, the chop or some of those waves, he'll um, pull a bit of tension on that line. Um, as you can see in this one, we've set it to the left, um, hoping to negotiate a bit of that north current that's coming through, so the current's pushing us to the right. So what we figured is if we can get 900 meters out on the left-hand side of us, then when that current starts to push it over, um, we'll get a better soak time out wide. Um, so that's the theory anyway, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Look at these sand flies. Jeez. There we go. She's out there now. We are fishing. Nice and straight, this set. Look at that. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, had to uh, get up to combat these uh, sand flies and this rain, so I'm fully covered up. And I must say, feeling a lot better. Some nothing like having a sand fly down your uh, going down your neck. Not fun, but um. Hey, while I'm on it, it's our Slayers Club gear, face masks, hoodies, we got you covered, www.slayers.nz. Yeah, it's, um, I think it's time to wind this set in because um, we've just had, the line went really, really slack. I was holding onto it with my hands and um, I felt the line go real slack. And I mean, like, I thought, uh oh, something's busted us off. Um, and then the tension came back on and it, and it did not stop pulling. So um, I think it's time we wound this bad boy in. So uh, as you do the honors, and it's on. Here she comes. It's been an awesome day. Been an awesome day. Just nice and um, relaxing. That's, that's one thing I really enjoy about Kontiki fishing. It is very relaxing. Um, nice day out on the beach and... Uh, as you saw earlier, the boys that came in, they are only here for one set. Um, and what I think might have happened in our first set, because this one stayed perfectly straight now. Um, and that current's still pulling. Like, it's definitely still pulling to the, the right of the beach. Um, but uh, there was a guy that had um, set his Kontiki. I won't say the brand. <coughs> Comment below what brand you think it might have been. Um, but a guy had set his Kontiki and it went straight down the beach, like left of the beach. Um, and uh, the boys were saying he was winding in as um, ours had landed so I think what might have happened is as he was pulling back across because the line angle on ours was ridiculous and it went that way way too quick so um, I think we might have had him um, snag up on us and pull us into the, uh, <laughs> the shallows around by him because not long after we were pulling ours in and walking down the beach because of the line angle uh, he was taken off so <laughs> um yeah but um this one's done a really good job of staying out there straight and as you would have seen we set the line angle um heading out left um or heading south of the beach so just so that we could get a better shot at um it sitting out in the deeper water and um yeah we're pulling him in now and uh hopefully that tug on there is going to result in some fish on the line we're using fresh kahawai for our bait in this set and um, yeah, I think I think we're gonna see some fish come up on deck, so we'll see, we'll see soon. I'll, I'll give you a look. And here we go, here comes the hooks. Is that sinker?
Yes, sir. Gurney. Good Gurney. Wow, nice penny. Cool. Okay, a little shark. Oh, a little rig shark. Nice. Another oh, even bigger gunner. Check him out. Let's go. Nice. See how their legs move on the bottom. Very cool. There's a brother up the back there, fish coming in. Still a few more hooks out. Nothing substantial, so nothing that felt like it could have done the big tug that we felt. So be interesting, be interesting. What's that, another little rig shark? Or is that a... No, that's a little... Bronzy, I'll take him off. Send him back out. Yep, he's gone. Yo. Bringing him back in. There we go, set number two. A few fish in the bin. I think we've got time for one more set, so see you soon. go we're gonna have to um call it a day i think she's sell she is bucketing down so um yeah that's us been a primo day but um yeah now nah, we're gonna we're gonna pack up now <laughs> so hey hope you enjoyed it if you haven't done it already smash that thumbs up um hey we're out here trying every week to get you some fresh content changing it up today was a contiki next week could be rock fishing could be drone fishing could be I don't know but some type of fishing um and yeah if you haven't already subscribed and uh we'll see you again in the next video much love family time to go and get some food and dry off let's go <clears throat>
Yeah, a couple of uh, gurnard, a couple of, oh well, a couple of snapper, a few that we had to put back, rig shark, lemon fish. Awesome afternoon, a couple of hours out here. Um, it's probably an hour and a half before low tide, which is um, when I was really wanting to put our last bait out at, but no, I, I was reading the signs from my boat, and um, I could see that the rain was getting getting to him, and fair enough too, because she's, she's bucketing down, so yeah. We're off home now, and um, we'll see you again in the next video. See you, guys, see you guys again in the next adventure. Every week we're uploading a video, so look, if you haven't done already, look, we appreciate all those that have been uh, subscribing, uh, commenting, um, giving us the thumbs up. It means a lot, and uh, it definitely brings that motivation on every time we're editing videos because it takes hours. So thank you guys heaps. Hey, stay safe out there. Look after yourselves, and we'll see you again next week. So here we are, um, on my way back in, some guys had um, a flat battery on the beach, so I'm going to have a quick scope out if the Z has a spirit, um, set of jumper cables and then shoot back down to the beach and hopefully I'll be able to get these fellas out because um, it, thankfully it's outgoing tide now but they're not going to have long and that's going to be um, a disaster so hopefully we can get some jumper cables. Oh, there we go. All right, so there we go. We're heading back to the beach. It's about to get dark. Um, and uh, hey, if they've been helped out before I get back there, awesome. If not, we'll try our best to get them out. But um, yeah, goes to show you, I need to need to get my kit upgraded in the in the truck. <laughs> Still a bit of stuff that I've got to grab, but hey, we've got jumper cables now. Um, yeah, so we'll head back, see if we can give these fellas a hand, eh? See you at the beach. Oh, there we go. I've just been on my way down to the beach, and I've just seen them drive past, so they must have got it sorted. Um, Oh well, sweet. I think at the end of the day, I'm just glad. I'm glad these fellas got out because um, if I was stuck, I'd want some help myself. So, oh well, on my way home, Joyce. Don't forget to look up our YouTube channel, Outdoor Adventures with Kays, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay notified every time we upload a new video.